Hello friends, welcome to today's operating system class and in this class we will discuss something about the free and open source operating system that will come under first unit. And in this class we will see the open source and closed source operating system, the benefits of open source operating system and some of the popular open source operating system that is Linux, Unix and Solaris. Open source operating systems are available in the internet with the source code format rather than the compiled binary code. The closed operating systems are available only in the binary code format but the open source operating systems are available in full source code format. For example, Linux is most famous open source operating system and the Microsoft Windows is a closed source operating system. We cannot change anything the Microsoft Windows because we will get only the byte code that is binary code format. And the Apple, Mac OS and the iOS operating systems are hybrid approach. Some are open source, uh, some are closed source. And with the source code of operating system, even the student can modify the operating system and compile and run the code that is run the program and if you want we can change something in that operating system and that will be helpful for excellent learning tool. Benefits of open source operating system. There is a community of interested programmers working towards this open source software system for helping debugging, analyzing and provide support and suggest any changes in this open source operating system. And these operating systems are more secured when compared to closed operating system because many people are involving in this open source operating system, right? And in open source, the code has sometimes bugs, okay? But those bugs can be easily solved and we can fix easily because more people are involving in that. And some companies earn revenue also from this open source by selling these programs. For example, Red Hat and MyRate are the companies are developing some uh, special programs through that they can earn money. And revenue can be generated through support, contract and the sales of hardware on which the software runs. Okay, these are the important benefits of open source operating system. The next let us see the most popular open source operating system that is Linux which produces many Unix compatible tools which includes compilers, editors and other utilities. But the Linux <coughs> but the Linux never leaves this kernel. Anyone can download this open source code that is Linux open source code and they can modify and submit the changes. So the Linux releasing updates once in a week that is every week they will release a new version hence the Linux operating system to grow rapidly and enhanced by several thousand programmers. And next let us see how to install Linux operating system on the top of Windows operating system. For that First, we have to download a free VMware player from this VMware uh, website and we have to install this VMware in our system. And second one, we have to choose the Linux version of virtual machine from this appliance or the virtual machine images which is available in the appliance website, VMware appliance website. And these images are pre-installed with operating systems and applications which includes many flavor of Linuxes and boot the virtual machine within this VMware player. Now the VMware is ready to work on this Windows operating system. The next most popular open source operating system is BDS Unix. Unix is a stable multitasking and multi-user operating system which is for servers, desktops and laptops. And Unix developed at AT&T laboratory in the year 1971. And Unix system also have the graphical user interface which is similar to the Microsoft Windows. 
which provides easy to use environment and the most popular unix are sun solaris gnu linux and mac os x and this is made up of three parts the first and most important one is kernel and shell programming and the programs that is unix programs and another popular operating system is Solaris operating system. It is a Unix based operating system which was initially developed by Sun Microsystem. After that purchased by the Oracle. Now it is known as Oracle Solaris. Solaris is well known for its scalability and the innovative features such as DStrace, ZFS, Time Sliders etc. Okay, these are the important feature of Solaris and it is a micro kernel design. Even now you can download this Solaris from this open Solaris org slash source website. Up to this we have seen the free open source operating system from the first unit of operating system subject. Under this we have seen the open source and closed source operating system and the benefits of open source operating system Linux, Unix and Solaris operating system. And in the next class, we will see another important topic from first unit. Thank you.